who was going to be number one. All right, well, I'll level with you on that. Nobody knew that. Nobody knew that. Uh, the first person that dis discovered that was after I dragged myself out of the office, and it was complete after its 36 hours uh, childbirth thing, you know, a lot of labor. I, we had someone said we had the scripts run off very quickly again and other things. So I got a copy of this thing, and uh, before I caught up a couple of hours sleep before w working on Monday morning, I sat with David, and uh, we were having some tea or something, someplace, some tea room or something. I said, you better read this, and gave it to him. And uh, I just uh, sat at another table and sipped tea until he'd finished, then he gave it back to me. And he said, I thought it might be you in the end. <laughs> oh, the, the number one that, who turned out to be the number one in the end, there's been a lot of flack about that. I, was, I think I was fortunate ever to get out of England alive. Uh, because I, I, I imagine a lot of people watched the last episode and expected, I suppose, the, the co a sort of conventional uh, end that the evil person personified as the number one that we'd never seen, this mystery character that brooded over everything. What was he going to be like? What is he, was he a Jekyll? No, not a Jekyll Hyde. No, I think they expected more a sort of James Bond uh, villain at the end. And I think they felt that they've been robbed with what they got. A lot did. But I would argue against that. I don't think they were robbed, because going back to the allegory, uh, which is what it was, it had nothing to do, which was very, it was very difficult to people, for people to understand that I was not John Drake. It's not a James Bond, right? Uh, so therefore, there are numbers in it, there are no names. You can't expect it to end like James Bond. So you have to have an allegorical ending. Now, if you pick the most evil, what is the most evil thing on earth? Is it, is it, uh, is it jealousy? Is it hate? Is it revenge? Is it the bomb? What is it? When one really searches, it's under one thing. It's, it's the evil part of oneself that one is constantly fighting until the moment of our demise. The Jekyll and Hyde, if you like, but on a much larger scale. So therefore, the most evil thing that I could put in there behind those masks, first of all, the black and white mask, then the mask of the ape, and behind that, the grinning evil face, I hope, of myself, just for a few, a split second, and then you see it once more, just for a split second, and I, I can't blame audience audience is saying, I wonder what, what, what's happening, what's going on. But they should please remember that it is an allegory, and in an allegory, one has the liberty to do anything. Not at all. No, of course I wasn't angry, not the least. I mean, I just had to go and hide myself. That's all in case I got killed. Uh, but uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't in the least angered. I was delighted. It's marvelous when people feel enough to be angry. Righteous indignation is terrific and they're entitled to it. I'd, I'd be very, very angry and disappointed if they hadn't watched, if they hadn't jammed the switchboards at ATV, I would have been outraged. I would have slunk around for years with my tail between my legs, instead of which it was just terrific. Loved it. And if I can do that again, I'll do it again. God love them, watch it. Millions of them, and be outraged. As long as people feel something. That's the great thing, is when they're walking around not thinking and not feeling, that's, that's, that's tough. That's where all the dangerous stuff is, because when you get a mob like that, you can turn them into the sort of gang that Hitler had. We don't want that. We want people who say, hey, now, wait a minute, you dare do that to me? I think because, going back to uh, the allegory, because everything is not explained, it can be seen, I hope, a second or a third time, and there are new meanings, because in an allegory, um, you, you can have a new, a, a new meaning because you're in, within yourself you've had more experience in your life. You can go back to it um, in the, and, and uh, understand, I hope, uh, interpret things a little differently. But the thing one must never do, which is in some way, I, I'll say this, um, in some ways, I, maybe this, I shouldn't be doing this, talking uh, to you and, and uh, to the people who are going to view it and hear it to explain the prisoner. I mean, I, I don't think uh, 
that they'll understand it. Perhaps they won't understand it any better after this attempt at explaining it, because in myself, I am still getting new interpretations. Those ideas, um, I hope, you know, one, one can play with them forever. The sky's the limit. Isn't it? I think the sky is the limit. Be seeing you. <laughs>